Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Serving worthily as disciples of the Lord, let us acknowledge our human weakness as we place ourselves before the Lord this morning by acknowledging our human weakness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother, may we be set free from the present sorrow and come to enjoy the eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, dear Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord was addressed to me as follows. Why do you keep repeating this proverb in the land of Israel? The fathers have eaten unripe grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. As I live, it is the Lord who speaks. There will no longer be any reason to repeat this proverb in Israel. See now, all life belongs to me, the Father's life and the Son's life, both alike belong to me. The man who has sinned, he is the one who shall die. The upright man is law-abiding and honest. He does not eat on the mountains or raise his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel, does not seduce his neighbor's wife or sleep with a woman during her periods. He oppresses no one, returns pledges, never steals, gives his own bread to the hungry, his clothes to the naked, he never charges usury on loans, takes no interest, abstains from evil, gives honest judgment between men and men, keeps my laws and sincerely respects my observances. Such a man is truly upright. It is the Lord who speaks. But if anyone has a son prone to violence and bloodshed who commits one of these misdeeds, then this son shall certainly not live. 
having committed all these appalling crimes, he will have to die, and his blood be on his own head. House of Israel, in future, I mean to judge each of you by what he does. It is the Lord who speaks. Repent, renounce all your sins, avoid all occasions of sin, shake off all the sins you have committed against me, and make yourself a new heart and a new spirit. Why are you so anxious to die, house of Israel? I take no pleasure in the death of anyone. It is the Lord who speaks. Repent and live. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. A pure heart create for me, O God. A pure heart create for me, O God. A pure heart great for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. A pure, a pure heart, heart create for me, O God. God. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor, sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. A pure, a pure heart, heart create for me, O God. God. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering for me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart you will not spurn. A pure, a pure heart, heart create for me, O God. God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let the message of Christ in all its richness find a home with you through him. Give thanks to God the Father. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. People brought little children to Jesus for him to lay his hands on them and say a prayer. The disciples turned them away, but Jesus said, Let the little children alone, and do not stop them coming to me. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of heaven belongs. Then he laid his hands on them and went on his way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We draw close to the week again. And as you begin to find some time, to just look back at the readings and the reflections of the days of past. It's about a relationship. It's basically on a relationship of a dutiful servant and the master. Much has been given to you. Much will be demanded of you. And much more will be given to you. For it pleases the Father to give you the kingdom of heaven. And that is how we find ourselves this week, looking deeply into this relationship as a servant, prudent, vigilant, awake, towards the Master. When I looked at the readings this morning, I, 
I realized that it somehow summarizes and captures the core message and theme for the last couple of days. I'm just going to share with you three important things that you could stay with with regards to the readings for the past week. The first most important thing is we are all accountable for our actions. We are all responsible for our actions. During the times of Prophet Ezekiel, they had this perception, this popular devotion thought that whatever sin they did, the consequence of their acts would fall upon the family, upon the descendants, upon the children. That's why you have this popular saying, we ate the unripened, the green grapes, and it fell to the edges of the teeth of the children. And Ezekiel says, don't, don't run away from the responsibility. You and I are accountable and responsible for our actions. God has entrusted us with the many graces and the gifts of our life and we take responsible and account for everything that we say, we do and we act upon. And Ezekiel was very strong with the words today and the past days. For all the abominations and the acts that you have done of your unfaithfulness to God and the way you have drawn yourself away from God, you and I just have to sit and ask ourselves what is it that we must undo in a personal capacity the second most important theme that you find in today's reading is that at some given moment during the day or the evening or the night you must have what is called an examination of conscience the whole list is in the readings today your acts of adultery your thoughts your actions of people around you examine your soul Examine your actions. We do it every moment of life. After a conversation, after a little discussion, a little act that we have done, we need to examine ourselves. What was the intention behind that act? What was the purity of our words when we spoke to someone? The examination of conscience. Because deeply down, you need to find the purity of your heart the purity of your heart of what you are doing. As the responsible psalm would say, create in me a Lord a pure heart. And finally, we need to be like children before God, the little ones. Our relationship with God is one of dependence, one of curiosity, one of openness, one of innocence before God. And that is why Jesus, to these little ones, The kingdom of heaven has been entrusted to them. The relationship that we have before God. That is how we could summarize the gist of this week's reflections. Take responsible and account for all that we do. Examine ourselves every given moment of our conscience. And thirdly, to stand like little ones before the Father. Create in me, O Lord, a pure heart. For blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, Father, with angels and saints, we declare your glory, and with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, Father, he broke it. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise, to glorify you, to your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. We'll offer the peace to one another. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother, may by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The prayer for the Synod. We, we stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us. Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you who are at work in every place and time in the communion of the Father and the Son forever and ever. Amen. Have a blessed weekend and stay safe. Same to you, Father.